Well, you know, we've had some fresh snow in the mountains overnight, and we'll get even more as we head on into the weekend. Here's a live look. Mount Hood Meadows, three inches of new snow on the ground there. So uh, the slope's looking really great for anyone headed up there this morning. 23 degrees at Mount Hood Meadows, so it's nice and chilly. Where does the snow level go from here? For the most part, it's below the past levels all weekend long. Briefly goes above the past level uh, Saturday, but Saturday looks dry until Saturday night, and that's when the next system arrives. So we're talking about a lot of fresh snow on the slopes this weekend. How much? Well, check this out. This is through uh, Monday afternoon. It looks like the ski resorts could potentially see 12 to 18 inches of new snow between now and Monday. Wow. Down at government camp, 6 to 12 inches of more. new snow by Monday. So uh, big snowmaker coming our way this weekend. Here's a look at current conditions. We have mainly dry conditions along the I-5 corridor, just a few spotty showers, scattered showers out along the coast and scattered snow showers in uh, the Cascades. East of the mountains, it's a cold start to the day, 13 in Burns, right at freezing in La Grande and Bend, 34 degrees in the Dalles. So let's check out satellite and radar. Most of the shower activity in the Willamette Valley is south of Salem. Just a little teeny uh, sprinkle that's picking up right there at the 20. 5 I-5 split uh, south of Portland, and then you can see scattered showers across southwest Washington and, and right along Highway 30 there as you're headed out toward Astoria. Here's the next weather, weather maker out in the Pacific. This will bring rain late on Saturday and snow to the Cascades. Again, we're talking more than a foot of snow likely above 4,500 feet. So we can forecast around Portland really nice as far as the timing. For a while there, it looked like Saturday and Sunday were going to be soakers. Now, it looks like most of the rain holds off until Saturday when we're sleeping overnight into Sunday. So, mostly cloudy on Saturday. Those clouds thickening ahead of the next system. Rain fires up, I think, around 10 or 11 in the Willamette Valley and then continues into the day on Sunday. So, high temperatures in the mid to upper 40s this weekend. Let's take it hour by hour. 8 o'clock this morning, scattered showers. They increase in intensity this afternoon. You'll notice the yellows. That indicates some downpours with snow in the mountains and snow east of the Cascades uh, overnight tonight into tomorrow. So, prepare for winter driving if you're going to be driving in central or eastern Oregon. Drying out for tomorrow, maybe even a little bit of sunshine early in the day. There come the clouds, and here comes that rain band. So overnight, mm. Saturday looks really wet. Scattered showers on Sunday. A bit of a break on Monday, and then we see more rain Tuesday through Thursday. So a pretty active seven-day forecast. As far as temperatures are concerned, today we're below average. Tomorrow, right around average. Average is 46 this time of year. So Carly, you ready for some rain? <laughs> All right, let me escape, let's see if I can, okay. All right, time person of the year, who wants to do the reading for me today? I, I, I will do it then. All right, perfect. Thank you. Time person of the year. Time magazine picks a person of the year each year. A person of the year is someone who has been in the news. Time announced the 2020 person of the year on December 10th during the TV special. This year, Time picked two people. Time picked Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Joe Biden was declared the winner of the presidential election and he is now the president elect. Harris was declared the next vice president and is now the vice president elect. Biden and Harris will be on the cover of the Time magazine. People can buy the magazine in December. Congratulations, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Yeah, so I guess they announced it last night. The, they mentioned it in December 10th, I think, they, yesterday. Yeah. yeah, yesterday. Time Magazine picks a person of the year each year. A person of the year is someone in the news. Time announced the 2020 person of the year on December 10th. This year, Time picked two people. Time picked Joe Biden and Kamala Harris.
Biden was declared the winner of the presidential elections. Harris was declared the next vice president. Biden and Harris will be on the cover of the Time magazine. People can buy the magazine in December. Congratulations, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Awesome, thank you for reading that to us. Yeah. You're welcome. All right, what picks a person of the year? Is it the Park Service? National Park Service. No. Is it NASA? NASA. No. Is it Time Magazine? Time Magazine. Yep. All right. So we had the what question. Who is a 2020 person of the year? Um, was it George Washington? George Washington. <laughs> no, he's not living anymore. Frederick Douglass? He's not alive anymore. Frederick Douglass. How about Joe Biden? Joe Biden. Yep. President-elect. When did time announce the person of the year? Was it last month in November? November. Are we still waiting for January to know? No. January. It was in this month, December. It was actually yesterday. December. Awesome, you guys.